The second job scandal has shown many Tory MPs are subject to extreme conflicts of interests. And on at least one occasion, it's revealed their brazen hypocrisy. You might remember that back in July, after England lost the Euro 2020 final on penalties, it was leaked that Natalie Elphick wrote the following in a WhatsApp group of Tory MPs. They lost. Would it be ungenerous to suggest Rashford should have spent more time perfecting his game and less time playing politics? The rather cruel suggestion from Elphick there is that Rashford missed a penalty because he'd spent too much time defending the rights of children not to go hungry because of Tory policies. The more general implication, people should stick to their day jobs. If you have a second job, it will make you worse at your first. Well, it's now come to light that Natalie Elphick hasn't been following her own advice. iNews first revealed the double standard. But according to the Register of Interests, Elphick earns £3,000 a month in her role with the New Homes Quality Board. That's £36,000 a year on top of her £82,000 MP's salary. If you didn't know that NHQB is an independent watchdog for new build homes, she was appointed as chair of the board in May 2020. She is set to spend approximately 416 hours working for the organisation this year, which works out at eight hours a week. Labour has raised questions over a lack of transparency in appointing board members and queried how the watchdog can be independent of government if it is being chaired by one of its own MPs. We've got another conflict of interests story here as well. Aaron, hypocrisy from a Conservative. Are you shocked? It's amusing. What are the political implications going to be? God knows. Mind you, don't get on the wrong side of Marcus Rashford and get away with it. Michael, you know, here's the thing. The stories are a meme. You know, we have a, we have a meme as a political party running the show in the UK. It's starting to sort of fall apart for them a little bit. And that could be temporary. Uh, you know, polls now are putting them increasingly in the high to mid 30s rather than low 40s. But I, I don't know. I, I do wonder about, you know, the extent to which this is bad for politics just because it becomes constant background noise of just daftness and stupidity and vacuity and triviality. I do worry, Michael, because if you don't have political movements sort of drawing out why they're hypocrites, which is because they serve particular interests and they're, they're venal and often corrupt because of the ideas and the ideologies they pursue, then I, I wonder about the politics of it. But it is funny. It is always funny to see the meme party, aka the Conservatives, basically look even stupid than I thought. Uh -huh.